Hi booktube, my name is Sarah and welcome to the Bookish Netter. Today I am coming to you with, I'm calling it my June 2020 ebook haul, or 2021, excuse me, my June 2021 ebook haul. However, I know that I've already hauled some books this month, like earlier in the month, um, ebooks uh, anyway, um, in book hauls, or not book hauls, in Friday Reads videos. So those, I'm not re rehashing those. These are anything new that I have, that I've bought pretty much over the last two or three weeks that I've bought that I haven't shared with you guys yet. So there are no NetGalley books on here. These are all books that I have purchased. Um, again, if you guys want to see which books I do get from NetGalley, because I am lucky that I get uh, quite a number from NetGalley, do let me know. I don't know whether I'll do it as a completely separate video. I don't know whether it's something I'll put into my Friday reads. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, but this seems to be the week for ebook or for book hauls because on Monday, Monday's video was a physical book haul from over the weekend. And then today, this video is going to go up on Wednesday. This is the ebook portion of it. So I did separate them. Now, the way I'm going to talk about these books is when I used to do ebook hauls, I would separate them. You know, did I buy it from Kindle? Like, did I get it as a Kindle daily deal? Or did I get it, you know, as a Kobo deal or wherever I had, or was it a monthly deal from Kindle or whatever? Because if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know, I generally don't pay full price for ebooks <laughs> or just books in general. Usually I'm getting something on sale. So I didn't do that this time. What I did instead is I broke it down by um, genre. So we can jump around, like I'll be going genre to genre and sharing that with you guys. Let me know if you like the way this goes. If so, um, I don't think this video is going to be terribly long because I thought I had more ebooks here than I actually do. It's only 20. So that's for me, that's not too bad, you guys. Believe me, there have been some great sales this month. Um, the the uh, monthly deals for June. I highly recommend that you go check them out on Kindle because there are a ton of Harlequins on sale. They're also on sale on the Harlequin website proper, but it, you know, depending on where you, which is easier for you, do you want to read off the Glow app or do you prefer reading off your Kindle tab, like your tablet or your Kindle e-reader or, you know, whatever the case may be, um, you know, that denotes where you want to purchase it from. But generally if it's on sale on Amazon, you're also going to find it on sale on Harlequin, if it's a Harlequin book, of course. So yeah, like I said, I've got 20 books here to share with you guys. I'm super excited. So let's jump in and get started. We'll start off with, of course, my favorite contemporary romance. So the first book that I got was Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the third book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. I believe it's only the three books. Now I have read Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which is the first one. The second book I have not read yet. I started it, but I never got through the whole thing. I think other things came up that month. I was enjoying it. I just didn't get, get it finished. I think I only got like less than a quarter of the way through it. But spoiler alert for my July TBR is I do plan on reading book two. So I do have those first two books on in print book. But this went on sale for $1.99. <laughs> it was a daily deal. And I'm like, okay, I'll grab a copy for the Kindle. And then eventually, maybe if I'm at a thrift store or something like that, and I see a copy of it in physical edition, I'll pick it up so I can complete the series. I loved the first book. So I know and I was really enjoying book two. So I've only heard good things about this series. So I'm very excited. Um, the next book I picked up was Maybe One Day by Debbie Johnson. This looks like a chiclet it, based on the cover. I, I don't know for sure if this uh, writer is actually from the UK. I'm kind of, I, I know there's a lot of discussion within booktube and bookstagram and just in general about what the difference is between chiclet, women's fiction. Uh, chiclet to me is kind of the UK authors that I love, the Tilly Tennant's. Um, you know, Millie Johnson, I suppose. Again, I don't know if she is one of these types of authors, but, and again, I'm not absolutely certain what this is going to be about, but, um, I'm excited about it. Again, it was a book that went on sale. The next one is an author I have not read before, but I know my friend Chloe over at Always Booked. She likes this author. She read through an entire series by this author and towards the end of the series, she wasn't you know, as invested in the series as she was at the beginning, which was the I Heart series. But I think that kind of goes for a lot of series that, you know, they really start off strong and then they kind of just fizzle out. But the one I got from her is a standalone and it's called In Case You Missed It by Lindsay Kelk. So I'm really excited about this one. Super, super cute cover. Again, I picked it up on sale. Why not? Another book that I believe is going to be on my July TBR. I cannot remember 100% what's on there at this point. 
but this is an author that I am I have not read but she writes a lot of stuff and I see a lot of her books going around all the time very summary and this is The Hidden Beach by Karen Swan I believe this is more of a women's fiction slash contemporary romance I'm not absolutely certain I put it under contemporary romance just because I believe that there's a romance in this book so yeah I am looking forward to this one the next one this was this is always exciting when I see the Hallmark books go on sale I pick them up because they can be very expensive for an ebook it's not out of the realm not out of the realm of possibility to see their ebooks go for 12 or 13 dollars for an ebook which just disgusts me I'm sorry it really does but this one came up and it was on sale for $1.99 and it's Beach Wedding Weekend and it's by Rachel McGee looks really really cute again really summery cover I'm here for it it looks awesome then I picked up two books by Bella Andre and both of them were free so when I grabbed them they were both for free so you know your mileage may vary go and check them out see if they're still available um for free anyway and the first one is since i fell for you by bella andre and this is the second book in her new york sullivan series so she's written a bunch of these sullivan series they take place in different locations they're essentially like the sullivan family or something like that sorry for the noise my niece and nephew are here <laughs> and they cannot be corralled <laughs> about five minutes ago we had high-pitched screaming which was fun <laughs> It's fine. They're kids being kids. What can you do, right? Um, and then the next one I got is It Must Be Your Love by Bella Andre, of course. And this is book three in her Seattle Sullivan's series. So like I was saying, Sullivan's, they're about these different branches of the family. They're really fun books. Um, if you like the work of Melissa Foster, then you will really like Bella Andre. They're, they seem very similar to me in types of books like when they do these whole big family type stories that branch from one family to another very interconnected they're a lot of fun i like them a lot and then the last contemporary romance that i have here is actually one that i paid full price for and it's because um i read the first book earlier this month and i really enjoyed it so this book is cross the line by julie johnson this is book two in a boston love story series like i said i read the first book earlier this month was it earlier this month or at the end of may Time is flying funny, eh, you guys? Like, it's crazy. Sorry about the light, too. I'm filming this in the afternoon, and it's... <laughs> the sun doesn't know what it wants to do, whether it wants to go behind the clouds or not. But yeah, I read the first book. I really enjoyed it, and I thought, go ahead. I had the money. I treated myself. Pick up book number two, and then I've got it, so there's no excuse to not pick it up to read it. So the next group of books I have to share with you. Cheers, you guys. I'm drinking my water. Again, sorry about the uh, screaming downstairs. We have cozy mysteries. We're just going to film because I have a minute to film now. And I'm going to take it. <laughs> cozy mysteries. You guys know I love cozy mysteries. And I got a bunch of really cute ones um, on sale. So I'm really happy. The first one, I believe this one was free. And it's called The Killer Cupcake by Fiona Grace. This is the first book in the Beachfront Bakery series. I bought this one, I think, like I said, I think it was free. And my mother spied it because we share a, can we share an Amazon account and she's gotten into listening to books now text to speech on her Kindle Fire that we bought her. So she's like, can I read this one? I'm like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And she really liked it. So <laughs> two thumbs up from my mom on this book. <laughs> the next one, again, this one was free and it just looked super, super cute. And this is Spells and Spiced Latte by Jinty James. First book in the Maddie Goodwell series. This looks like a cozy mystery paranormal cozy mystery looks really cute very cartoonish cover I said why not it was free um next one is a series that I think I have read or I have seen I own some of the books in this series and this is better off read by Nora Page this is the first book in the bookmobile mystery series um again it's a cozy mystery series but I think it's about an older woman like a senior and she um, drives the local bookmobile, which is super cute and fun. And there's a cat involved. And if there's a cat involved, I'm down for it. Uh, next book. These titles are just delightful. We have Crust No One by Winnie Archer. Book number two in a Breadshop Mystery series. The X-Files fan in me. Trust No One. Loves this title. <laughs> Loves this title. <laughs> 
And it's, like I said, it's a bread shop bakery mystery series. Yes, please. I am totally interested. Uh, next one we have is Murder, She Knit by Peggy Earnhardt. This is the first book in a knit and nibble mystery series. Now, I have later books in this series from NetGalley that I haven't, uh, I think I've read one of them and I really enjoyed them. But it's a knitting related mystery. Um, and the first one went on sale. So why not? I picked it up. Next, we have A Deadly Edition by Victoria Gilbert. This is book five in the Blue Ridge Library Mystery Series. Looks super, super cute. It's to do with books. It's a mystery. Come on, you guys. Like, you know why I'm buying these things. I don't have to explain it to any of you. <laughs> we all get each other. That's the great thing around here, isn't it? And the last one for Cozy Mysteries is Pride, Prejudice, and Poison. This is by Elizabeth Blake, and this is the first book in a Jane Austen Society mystery. So all my Jane Austen fans out there, you might want to check this one out. I think there's now three books in this series. So yeah, if you're an Austen fan, I'm assuming you might want to check this one out. I have read Emma and Pride and Prejudice, and I didn't dislike them. They were good. I wouldn't say they're books that I would reread a bunch of times. I'm not a big Austen fan, like, in terms of that. But I would like to give them both a reread because I do have Sonalia Dev's series, The Raj, The Raj, Rajas, I think it is. The first one is Pride, Prejudice, and Other Flavors. So what I'd like to do, what I plan to do this year, and I never got around to it. Sorry, this is totally off topic of the book. Um, was to reread Pride and Prejudice and then read the Sonalia Dev. So, yeah, maybe I'd have to do that and then read this one. Wouldn't that be fun, like, over the course of, like, two months to read an Austin work and then to read, like, a romance and then, like, a cozy mystery based on it? <laughs> that would be fun. Who's in, who wants to do this with me? Any takers? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? <laughs> Did I just age myself? Probably. Um, next up, we have Inspirational Romantic Suspense. Very niche genre, uh, but it's a romantic suspense that is faith-based. And I have two. These are both uh, love-inspired books from Harlequin. We have Primary Suspect by Laura Scott. This is the fifth book in the Callahan Confidential series. These are very basic covers. Like this, I think if I'm remembering correctly, this is the one with the bench that's just like in front of water. It's just very intriguing. The color scheme, that bench, like you want to know what's happening there. And then the other one is Compromised Identity by Jody Bailey. This is the one I think it looks like a trestle bridge. Is it a trestle bridge? Like um, a railroad bridge. And it looks really, really interesting. My nephew is singing for everyone. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, you guys. I really, really am. I hope you can hear me over it. Um, so I am really, really looking forward to both of those. Okay, sorry. We had screaming, so <laughs> that one I did pause for you guys. <laughs> Where was I? Historical romance. We have Any Rogue Will Do by Bethany Bennett. This is the first book in the Misfits of Mayfair series. This is, I'm not sure at all what this is about, but I was approved for the second book in the series, second or third book in the series, on NetGalley, and I am really looking forward to it. I just love a good Regency historical. They're the best. And then we have The Highlanders, English Bride by Vanessa Kelly, book three in the Clan Kendrick series. I think I've read the first book in this series. Um, it takes place in Scotland, and I really like these. Vanessa Kelly is a great historical romance writer. She doesn't get the um, notoriety that she deserves. Like, you know, she, I don't think she's one of the ones that people normally think about when you're like, who's your favorite historical romance writer? It's like Julia Quinn, Eloisa James. You know, you get the big names, right? Sarah McLean. But Vanessa Kelly is fantastic as well. If you haven't checked out her stuff, I highly recommend that you do so. It's delightful. And last but not least, we have a paranormal romance. I'm calling it a paranormal romance. It's one of my crew of Hunter's books. It's, I think, the newest release. Maybe not. The Seekers by Heather Graham, which is book 28 in the Crew of Hunters series. Slowly collecting all of these. I have read up until I think book 21. So the last couple of years I haven't gotten to yet, but I am doing a reread of the series. So I'm up to, I think, book three or book four. So I'll get here eventually. But for now, I do have a copy for the Kindle. So, and it was on sale. So why not? Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below. What good deals have you found this month on ebooks? Have you found it? Have you bought anything good? 
Are you buying anything good? Have you read any of these books that I talked about? Chat with me in the comments below. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.